Hello, James here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install an ODD2 into the new Nissan Leaf 2018 and also just go over a few things on Leaf Spy. So, first thing you need to do is get down to the driver's seat, so pull the seat back, and basically, you'll see this panel down here. So, on here, in this panel here, there's two tabs, and if you use a key or a screwdriver, you can basically feel the tabs here. So if you get your key and you can rise it. There's another tab over the side. So that just comes off. It's pretty easy. Nothing that special. Okay. Uh, there's two ways you can do this. This is the OBD2 connector. Uh, this here is the OBD2 that I got off the internet. I'll put a link below. So all this does is it basically just sticks on here and that's it. So it's on now. The Some people don't actually like putting it directly on just in case it starts um, messing with the connection. So you, you, you don't want to make the connection loose. So there's other products like this one. Uh, so this has got like a, a thin sort of wire and this goes in here. And then you can connect the other end here. So if you want to take this on and off all the time, this is quite good because you can obviously put it somewhere else. Maybe mount it just under the steering wheel if you want to, so you can take it on and off. Or if you don't want to mount it, there's actually a gap in here and you can actually just slide it in here, the, the wire, so it's out of the way while you're driving. So this is what I was doing before because I didn't really want to stick it down. So you can stick it there and it'll just sit there. Or depending on where your column is, you can actually stick it underneath the column as well. Obviously, it'll, there's a chance of it coming out, so it's not ideal. Uh, but yeah, so that, that's, the, that's the two options that you have for uh, installing it with an extra cable or directly into the, the unit itself. Some people say that you shouldn't actually leave it plugged in because of security issues and some people do have it plugged in uh, basically it, because it doesn't draw that much power off the 12 volt battery so it's never going to run your battery dry that's entirely up to you how you guys want to do that right so now we're going to look at my phone and we're going to look at leaf spy so this is all the apps that i use the pro version was 12 pounds and i think it's 20 pounds or just under 20 pounds on the apple store you got to connect to it so if you come here and select ODD2 and pair a device so I've already got this paired on Bluetooth already it will accept 1234 and 0000, 0000 on this particular uh, ODD2 you can basically access everything from this screen including your uh, state of charge kilowatts remaining the temperature, so if you click on this spot here, you can either do tire pressure or battery temperature. So this is where you can see what your battery temperature is. Click on the top right hand corner where the three bars is and you hit settings. You will be in the settings screens. I'm not going to change this too much. So obviously you can change it to feet, meters, Fahrenheit, centigrade, PSI bars, etc. for your units. Uh, the main thing to change is the model year. You want to change that to a 40 kilowatt and 2018, just so it will basically read with the car. Otherwise, it'll give, it won't actually give you any battery readings. Then, obviously, you got all these other settings. One other one which is quite good is Dropbox. So I've got it set to Dropbox, and it's basically sending the uh, sort of like spreadsheet over to my Dropbox to tell me what my car is doing. Make sure you have this at 40 kilowatts because I think the default is 60 so there's it comes up with an error so you press backup so you can save all the set and press backup and if you hit the restore you can reload it back in and let's change that to 60 and restore and it's basically gone back to 40 with my default settings. Then you got the service screen so I think the main thing people would be interested in is the service screen. If you click on enabled and you hit back on your Android phone, you'll get the service menu. So this is great because you can do sort of like different settings here. 
including locking and unlocking doors, which is something that I couldn't figure out what, how to do. So if you click on this, you will see you can have it automatic lock and lock, unlock only, lock only and off. So the default was off when I got the car, so it would never lock the car when you start driving off. So I have it to set to lock and unlock automatically and basically uh, out of park or 15 miles an hour once you reach that it will lock the car. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video please hit the like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.